start. Good morning. My name is Michael Lyons and I call myself the rock star cartoonist. I wrote and illustrated a comic book autobiography called rock star cartoonist. I'm also the creator of Buju Nana Buju, a puppet podcast that teaches Ojibwe language and culture. I'm 56 years old. I live in Bemidji, Minnesota. I'm not married. I don't have any kids. I don't have any friends. And I've divorced myself from my family. And I call myself a rock star, cartoonist, puppeteer. But I'm none of those things. I'm not a rock star. I'm not a cartoonist. What I am is a drug addict. Today is day two of quitting marijuana. I've smoked marijuana daily, all day long. I once wrote a song called Wake and Bake about smoking pot first thing in the morning because, you know, you write about what you know. And uh, I thought I would record these videos as sort of a journal, a diary of my progress, you know. I'm hoping that I'll quit smoking weed and my life will improve and I can tell other people how to do it and I can offer support and that kind of stuff. But the reality is I have no idea if I can do this. But let's just start. Today is, I think, Wednesday, July uh, 19th. I lose track of the days because I'm unemployed. I don't have a job. I've been seriously, seriously depressed for at least two months. Two months ago, I was suicidal. Um, and I, I realized, and I've always known, I guess, that the weed is just making things worse. It always has made things worse. You know, I became addicted to marijuana just right away. And, uh, you know, I used it for every, the same reasons everybody uses it, to get high. And at first it was fun. And then I, it became, I became dependent on it R right away. And my life has been, you know, doing stuff, trying to achieve happiness, trying to become a musician or an artist. And in the last five, six years, a puppeteer in a video thing. And I failed at everything. Um, I didn't fail from lack of trying. I've tried very hard every day my whole life. I can say that. I tried my best. But I have found myself, after all this time, a complete failure. I'm broke, unemployed. I've never had a girlfriend. 
Nah, that's not really true. I had a girlfriend in college, kind of. I mean, it looked like a girl, you know, but she didn't love me very much. And I had some dates over the years. And I was in love with one other woman, but she didn't really love me back either. And I always kind of soothed my broken heart and my anxiety with weed. Um, I've become, you know, very self-reliant, I guess. But my whole life is just getting weed and then smoking it and doing my stuff under the influence. But of course, if you're anything like me, you know that weed is fun for a few years and then you don't really get high anymore. You're just smoking to stop being straight and to have some relief from the anxiety and depression that comes from not having weed. So today is the second day of me not having weed. And I'd like to, I'd like to say I've decided to quit and that this, will, this video diary will just kind of mark my progress or whatever. But I have to be honest, I don't know if I'll be able to do this. Here are my symptoms of weed withdrawal so far. Uh, I mean, I was depressed anyway, but yesterday was particularly bad. As bad as it was two months ago when I considered ending my life. Um, There are issues that it's not like everything is great and I'm just seeing things wrong and weed has made me depressed. I have reasons to be depressed, but the weed is not helping and it's, it's making it worse. Um, but now the, but now the withdrawals are also horrible. Don't believe anybody who tells you weed's not addictive and don't believe anybody who tells you it's easy to quit. They weren't addicts like me. So on day two, I woke up at 2.30. Uh, so I guess I have some insomnia. But the reality is for months, maybe years, often, I would find myself waking up in the middle of the night, coming in here to my studio to work on my podcast, my puppet podcast. And I'd make coffee, smoke some cigarettes, smoke some weed, and you know, spend a couple hours doing that. And then go back to sleep for a few hours and then get up again and get back to work, get high again. And, you know, the cycle just continues on and on. As of today, um, once again, I went to the cash machine yesterday and took out cash from my credit card, which is almost max now in the last couple of months. So I could buy weed. And I contacted my dealer and and he wrote me back saying he has it. And now I'm hoping I don't go get it. But I'm a fucking addict and I probably will. Um, I don't know. Okay, so for future whatever this day two july 17th day two without weed 
and my symptoms are insomnia, depression, anxiety, um, you know, my shower got plugged up yesterday. It, maybe it still is. But because I'm depressed and have anxiety and drug addiction or whatever, that was like a big deal for me. Freaking out. I always get weird when having to call like real men, plumbers, uh, mechanics, any of that stuff. I got all kinds of neurotic anxiety around that. I feel like I'm going to get into trouble for plugging up my own shower. You know, but the toilet overflowed and I was like, ah, you know, like the world was coming to an end. But that's what it feels like. I mean, it's... Uh, I don't know if these, this is ever going to work. Alright, so let me leave it at that because it's already longer than anybody wants to listen to me drone on. All right. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.